actual system that we've been operating off for the past eight years has actually not been within the boundaries of this country. It's been operating from Germany. So it's a very exciting time for us to be bringing this um, innovation. You know, it was a global innovation that started in Kenya. When we look at the design part, we spent over six months with over 50 engineers from across different countries, uh, different uh, partners, and these are engineers who are at the top of their game. So it took us almost six months to do the design, to verify the design, and to ensure that even before we start, things are going to be correct. So the journey to bring M-Pesa home has been taken us over two years. Within this period, we've had nearly 5,000 hours of testing. We've had several dry runs. That's where we actually fake you know, the actual cutover. We've had six dress rehearsals. We have 300 members of staff you know, cross-functional across um, Safaricom supporting this, um, and partner organizations like Vodafone, IBM, and Huawei all working, you know, to make this happen. This new generation of M-Pesa platform, which we're calling Generation 2, G2, as Koi explained, will provide, again, higher transaction capability. So from the current 450 transactions per second, we'll have a capacity of up to 900 transactions per second. Uh, more flexibility, as I mentioned, in developing solutions that makes it possible for us to go to market faster with the solutions that Kenyans want to see on these platforms. So developers will be able to now tap into um, the growing M-Pesa ecosystem and come up with service extensions to fully maximize their own solutions. High availability and system stability, meaning fewer service interruptions, and um, high reliability due to less points of failure. The preparation for the designs was also to look at the data center capabilities and uh, we ensured that uh, some of our data centers were upgraded to the necessary tire to be able to support power failures, uh, transmission and the like. We are saying that we are going to add other interfaces right? and we are also going to provide monitoring. So this is a journey because every time, once we've opened up these interfaces, we'll also have to work with our partners to change their backends to be able to conform to the new standards we've set.